Hello all, my name is Prabhakar. I am making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon Web Services. And in this session, I am going to talk about SQS and how to integrate your SQS uh, with the Lambda function and how to trigger uh, uh, your Lambda function uh, using SQS. Here is the content for uh, today's discussion. And I am going to talk about uh, SQS. And um, inside a lab, I am going to set up SQS and integrate this SQS with the Lambda function and trigger lambda function uh, with the help of SQS. First of all, uh, let's check that, okay, what is the SQS? And the SQS uh, stands for uh, simple queue uh, service, and it is a distributed messaging queue service. And it supports the programmatic sending of messages via web service uh, applications as a way to communicate over the internet. And uh, SQS eliminates the complexity and overhead associated with the messaging and operating messaging, message oriented uh, middleware. And that it empowers uh, developers to focus on <coughs> differentiating their work. And using the SQS, you can send, store, and receive messages between the software components at any volume uh, without losing a message or requiring other services to be available. And it supports, uh, there are two types of uh, uh, SQSs and uh, that offers uh, two types of messaging queues. One is uh, standard queues and the second one is the FIFO queue and the standard queues offers the maximum throw output and the best effort orienting and at least once a delivery and uh, FIFO uh, queues uh, which are designed to guarantee that okay messages are processed exactly once and uh, in the exact of the order that they send. Okay that's uh, first in first uh, out. So the way you are sending the messages and the, the way uh, it will receive that, okay, first uh, input, uh, it will process as a first output, okay. And let's take a sample example here, okay. So uh, uh, in that, okay, before uh, discussing on this example part, okay, so I will explain that, okay. Uh, take this example, okay. So let's say uh, you have built a mobile uh, voting application uh, for a popular uh, TV show and uh, maybe uh, 5 to 25 million uh, viewers are voting at the same time okay at the end of the each performance and uh, how you are going to handle that many votes in a, such a short span of time so for example the survey is open only for 15 seconds or only for five minutes for example okay and millions of users are trying to give the votes and i have uh, built a system and i have uh, set up uh, servers and set up databases are there and the different clients actually they are giving the votes okay so and uh, there may be some chance okay um, so we have to get a very huge amount of uh, hardware here so in order to handle such kind of a very huge load and after 15 minutes or maybe after five minutes once the voting is done then again whatever the hardware you have built uh, that is idle all right and there may be one more chance is that okay i have produced all the votes and then i received all the votes but there may be some chance okay so if uh, your system is not capable for processing all the votes then there might be some chance it will lose some of the votes right and uh, in another case is that your system will not respond to end users okay within a time for giving the votes so that's why in the typical uh, traditional web server setup okay there may be such, such kind of issues are uh, already there okay so that uh, for avoiding that, okay, so uh, there is a concept called SQS. Why this SQS uh, come into the picture? That's a simple queue uh, service. So uh, inside that, okay, so whatever the clients are there, they will push the as many as a number of uh, uh, number of uh, uh, votes. Okay, all these votes, uh, first of all, it will go to the queue. Okay, and your web server responsibility is that, okay, it will, uh, in, in previous example, you are, uh, we are actually sending the request to the web server and web server will process that okay and <clears throat> after applying the sqs we are going to put our votes into uh, sqs and uh, it's a, a job of uh, your web server for pulling that information from the queue okay so it will pull either one by one or either it, it will pull the batch of 10 or batch of 100 messages at a time based on the capacity and then it will process it okay so here uh, losing of the messages are very less and um, so uh, with the help of the screen mechanism uh, that will actually decouple the voting apps uh, from your survey uh, where the vote queue was highly scalable and uh, it could happily observe uh, 10 messages per second or maybe uh, 10 million messages per second based on the hardware capacity okay 
and even though you go with uh, very uh, less hardware configuration but still so with the help of sqs so it process a large number of messages uh, with the less and uh, without uh, losing of the messages okay so whenever a user plays the request okay uh, plays the words okay those words will be uh, uh, will be pulled uh, from the web server okay and as i said it could be a 10 messages per second or maybe it could be a 10 million records per second based on the capacity okay so let's go to the lab okay inside a lab uh, i'm going to set up a queue and uh, i'm going to set up a lambda function and uh, i will trigger that lambda function with the help of sqs and it is a basic demo okay so and uh, so i already covered uh, sns that's a simple notification service uh, from the simple notification service we can also trigger the lambda function and i will come uh, with another session okay why sns and why sqs and when to use uh, simple notification service when to use the simple uh, queue service simple notification service is more over for the pushing mechanism and uh, simple queue service is more over for the pulling mechanism okay uh, from simple notification service we can push the messages to the subscribers and uh, for simple queue service uh, we are going to actually pull the messages from the queue okay i will make another video okay, on that so uh, let's go to uh, AWS management console. <clears throat> so here uh, I'm creating a simple queue here. Uh, go to services and type SQS. Okay, it is a my uh, simple queue service. After opening that, okay, so you can go here and then uh, create a new queue. And uh, here uh, it uh, it offers uh, two types of uh, uh, queues. One is the standard queue, and second one is a prefer queue. And uh, so here, if you see that, okay, at least once a delivery and best effort orienting, uh, best effort ordering, and uh, FIFO is for uh, first in first out delivery and exactly once processing. And uh, so FIFO is uh, uh, slightly uh, uh, high, uh, faster than the standard queue. So I'm using a standard queue, and I'm giving it as uh, the, like if I say uh, here is my uh, voting system, okay, voting uh, SPS, okay. So, and uh, here I can define that, okay, visibility is a 30 seconds. That means that, okay, once um, your queue receives the message from the client, okay, it is visible for 30 seconds. And, and after that, uh, so the retention period is uh, four seconds. Okay, retention period is the four days, like, um, so four days it will be available inside a queue. Then after that, it will move into the dead queue. I will talk about more on the dead queue, why this dead queue is required. And, uh, access policy so and uh, only uh, the queue owner can do the request settings and only queue owner can uh, push the messages okay this we can change it uh, as per our requirement and encryption we don't require any end of encryption here so if i enable the encryption so i can i can choose the encryption type and then all the messages if uh, my messages are uh, 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 highly confidential, customer confidential, so that I can encrypt that. Okay, and before um, before pushing it to the before pulling uh, from the queue, so encryption is not required for this demo. And dead letter queue. This is the very important part here. So why this dead letter queue? Suppose I sent a message. Uh, I actually placed a message into the queue. So if uh, due to uh, some reasons, if my message is not processed properly. So in this case, uh, uh, so what happened to your message? Okay, it will be available uh, based on the your retention. Okay, so four days on inside a queue. After the four days, it will be vanished automatically. Okay, so here if I say okay minutes and if I say five minutes, okay, your message will be available uh, five minutes only. After that, okay, so your message will be uh, vanished uh, completely and permanently, so that uh, there is no traces that okay where is your message. So for tracking and <clears throat> for pickuping uh, such a uh, failed messages, okay, you can go to the dead letter, uh, letter queue, and then you can uh, you can create a uh, new queue on this, okay. So you can add uh, on the uh, new queue on this. So similarly, the way you are creating the queue, uh, similarly you can create a new queue on this, okay. I will come to this during the demo, okay. So for the timing, I'm making it as a visible. These uh, tags are optional, okay. Now I'm creating the queue here. Okay, so I have created a queue successfully, and uh, now I created a queue uh, name called as a voting underscore uh, SQS. And similarly, I'm making another queue. Okay, go here and uh, type SQS and a simple queue service. 
So here I'm making another queue which will handle the dead queue and uh, all, uh, all the messages which are not processed, those messages I'm going to put it into the dead queue and it is again the optional. And if you are performing any uh, sensitive operations and you want a detailed log and detailed track, you don't want to miss out any of the transactions or any of the messages. So that time it is recommended to always create a dead queue so that if any messages are not processed, those messages automatically um, placed into the dead queue so that uh, inside a dead letter queue, so I can, I can, I can execute and then uh, I can re-execute uh, uh, re all the, these messages, okay? So here I'm putting it as uh, voting <coughs> underscore SQS and putting it as a dead, <coughs> dead. And uh, so these are parameters, I'm leaving it as a blank and now create a queue. So uh, now if you see that, okay, I have uh, two queues are available. Okay, one is uh, voting SQS and uh, second queue is uh, voting SQS dead queue. So what I'm going to do is uh, this voting, um, uh, voting SQS queue, this queue, I'm, uh, I'm going to actually uh, put it down to the inside of voting SQS as a dead queue. So for that, you can click on this queue and uh, inside that, okay, so uh, you can edit that. And after editing that, okay, so in the below, so you can specify that, okay, so here is a, your dead queue, okay, dead letter queue, go here, enable that, <clears throat> and from the drop down, you can find that, okay, voting yes, is dead queue, and save the changes. After doing that, okay, now uh, uh, it is uh, voting SQS. And uh, so here uh, there is a SNS uh, subscription like, uh, so I can also uh, maintain and integrate my queue with a uh, simple notification service or Lambda trigger. So, and there is a monitoring, okay, how the messages are uh, flowing between, uh, so your SQS to the uh, Lambda or maybe web server, okay. What I'm going to do here, so here, the lambda trigger okay as of now i don't have any lambda trigger here what i can do that okay here i'm going to create a new lambda function so for that uh, go to services and uh, click on lambda function lambda function so here uh, uh, so it will uh, prompt you that okay either you can create a lambda function from scratch or either you can create a lambda function from the existing uh, sample code or you can pull the Lambda function and you can create the Lambda functions on the repository, okay? So here I'm choosing it as a sample function here. So because uh, here I'm not going to write any business logic here for this demo. So uh, so if you want to write the business logic, then whatever the messages you are pushing it from the, uh, whatever the messages you are pushing to uh, SQS, and uh, once your Lambda function pull those uh, messages, and after that you can write your business logic in terms of, uh, uh, those data you can put it onto the database okay or you can perform some actions on this so i'm using it as a blueprint here and uh, here it, i can type that sqs so i can choose any of the language here so for the timing uh, i have a default uh, uh, default uh, available blueprint is available which was developed in node.js okay i'm choosing that and after that here let's take an example outing uh, underscore lambda function okay here is uh, my lambda function name and i want to create a role uh, for that okay so uh, either i can select existing role okay if i if i create any of the roles and second one is i can create from the policy template okay so policy template here is a template uh, policy template so for that uh, this sqs puller okay permissions are required for that it is already selected that so I'm giving the name it as like, okay, voting underscore system underscore permission. Okay. And uh, so here I can select the queue name. Okay. My queue, I have two queues, but uh, it is always, please make a note on this. Okay. We have to select uh, only the voting system and the dead letter queue is not uh, enabled anymore. And this is only uh, <clears throat> For the purpose of uh, placing uh, the failed messages so i'm choosing it as a voting sqs and the batch size is a 10 batch at a time i have to process it and one more important thing is that okay so when you directly go ahead and then create uh, the uh, lambda function okay, it will not trigger unless you have enabled that okay so we have to enable it manually so for the timing i'm keeping as a blank okay how this will behave after that and here is a code block i'm receiving the message <coughs> from the queue and that message I'm actually displaying it here, okay? 
and now go ahead and then create a function lambda function now i have successfully created a lambda function here and the next part is that so go to services and integrate your lambda function with uh, uh, your sqs okay go to sqs open it into another tab and uh, here i can go to the queues available queues and uh, uh, click on the outing sqs and uh, go to the lambda function the lambda triggers and uh, from this section so uh, here is a lambda function which was already there okay so which was already and this status is a disable right so if i want to enable that what i can do i can go back to my lambda function okay so as i said okay at the time of creation you can go ahead and then enable that and uh, second option is that once you create that and you want to enable it already create a lambda function okay so here are the triggers okay so there are couple of uh, triggers are available like alexa trigger and cloud function and application load balancer dynamo db s3 and multiple triggers are available so for that uh, for this demo i have selected it as sqs so because uh, i want to integrate sqs with the lambda function okay so we can choose the multiple triggers and click on the sqs and below there is a disable option you can enable that and uh, don't forget to save the changes save the changes once you save the changes uh, and uh, you go back to uh, your uh, lambda for, uh, your uh, sqs and then refresh the changes so here you can see that okay it is uh, enabling that it will take a less than a minute uh, for enabling uh, uh, your lambda function in order to uh, pull uh, sqs messages so by the time so i will walk you through that okay what are the additional changes uh, what are the additional parameters are available here so here if you see that in uh, in my uh, sqs okay simple queue service so the uh, first is nothing but okay so uh, if uh, 10 to 50 uh, messages are in a queue and uh, by using this purge so it will uh, delete all the messages from your queue and delete is nothing but it will delete uh, your entire queue permanently okay don't use this option if you want to delete only messages and always you can go ahead and then do the first and uh, here i'm sending the sample message here click on send sample message and here i can specify the message name here so if i say hello welcome to uh, tech hub tutorial okay this is my message and the delivery delay is uh, uh, zero it means that okay as soon as uh, you uh, send this message okay your lambda function will uh, pick up that message and then it will uh, uh, it will do this some console stuff here like if you say that okay go to voting here is my code and inside this code okay so i'm i'm actually uh, capturing that message and that message i'm uh, putting it onto the console log okay so inside a console log i can see that okay what kind of message i have put and uh, so based on our requirement okay so here i can uh, do the business logic okay so like uh, if i want to put uh, uh, this data into the database or if i want to perform some actions or if i want to send these data to somewhere else or if i want to manage my AWS, uh, aws ec2 instances based on these details okay i can uh, i can write a business logic as per my requirement okay so for that i mean i'm just uh, displaying uh, these messages into uh, sps so now go back to uh, the amazon and uh, sps and here uh, so here is my message and message attributes are optional okay so if you want to send any additional metadata you can send that and receive messages like okay what kind of messages you have sent what is the status of that message and then what is the size of that message how many messages you have sent so all the entire metric you can you can find it uh, inside this section okay so if you click on the send message now so your message has been sent uh, successfully and it is ready to be received okay so if i go here and then if i click on the risk uh, and again on the same queue okay and uh, click on send or receive messages so here i can find the log okay so far we don't have any log is available here and now go back to your queues inside a queue uh, there are two options one is uh, messages available and messages flight mm -hmm. that means that okay if i am sending a messages to sps okay those comes into the message in flight and once all the messages are received inside a queue, those will be moved to the messages available. From the messages available, okay, uh, your consumer like uh, Lambda function will pull from the uh, messages which are available in this section. So let's go ahead and then check that, okay, whether uh, your Lambda function is triggered and then uh, 
So for checking that, okay, go to uh, CloudWatch. And inside this CloudWatch, it is nothing but it's a uh, monitoring processing and applications, okay, where it will maintain the log, consolidated log for the across all the uh, AWS services. You can go to that and go to the log groups, okay. So inside this log groups, click on the log groups. And uh, here is uh, the voting Lambda function is uh, my log group. Okay, Cl click on that. And after clicking this, okay, so here is the log which was uh, uh, done a uh, few minutes back. Okay, you can find that. Okay, so the message is this here is a message. Okay, so uh, the message is uh, hello, welcome to Tech Up Tutorial. Okay, so not only for that, okay, let's say so uh, in my earlier demo, so I have uh, I have actually demonstrated that okay, how to stop and uh, uh, how to terminate the EC2 instances okay by using the, the lambda function and api gateway so inside of my lambda function i can i can write a business logic for stopping all EC2 instances by putting this some sqs so inside of my sqs what i can do uh, i can go to the sqs uh, i can i can send a message okay inside a message if i put it as like uh, i sample uh, like uh, one two three okay here is my uh, ec2 instance id so uh, based on this ec2 instance id i can capture i can fetch that ec2 instance id from this section and uh, and uh, so i can stop the ec2 instance okay by using this id so based on our requirement we can extend the uh, sqs operations and sqs is nothing but it's a simple queue uh, where it will uh, it will maintain the queue so in order to put enter bulk into the web server okay it will put enter queue and this queue will be available for as per your requirement like you can keep this queue for the five days or 10 days or 15 days based on your data so we can use that and uh, let's come to the dead queue and uh, now if you see that okay so i have uh, uh, there are two queues are available and uh, these messages are uh, processing in a fraction of seconds so that's why i'm not able to uh, demonstrate okay uh, what is the message available and what is the flight and all so what i'm going to do here okay my voting sqs is integrated with the lambda function right what i'm going to do here is i'm going to delete the lambda function okay go to services and lambda function so that uh, if I put any messages onto the queue and that message are not going to be processed because Lambda function is no longer available. So those messages will be automatically moved to the deadlock. Uh, 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 this uh, SQS uh, uh, dead queue. So you can go to the actions and uh, delete a Lambda function. This is I'm doing it only for the demo, uh, demo purpose. So after doing that, what I'm going to do here, uh, go to the voting system. And here I'm sending a message, okay. So message is nothing, it's, it's not like a, a email or it's not like a, something, okay. Message means some content, okay. That content could be anything like it could be a JSON or it could be a data or anything, but it's supposed to 256 uh, KB uh, per message. So here, if I say, uh, hello, is my message. And if I, uh, if I send this message, so if I send this message and uh, now go to the queues, and once I go to the queues, okay, so here if you see that, okay, now uh, one message in a fla uh, flat, okay, and uh, uh, here you can see that, okay, so now uh, uh, one message which is uh, moved from messages, uh, flight to messages available, and uh, it will be available for five minutes, and after that, these messages will automatically move to uh, outing SQS, uh, dead uh, SQS. So uh, this is how, and uh, suppose some of the messages are available. And if I go here on the voting system where I can see that, okay, what other messages are available? You can click on uh, send and receive messages. And uh, below uh, you can see that, okay, there is one message which is available and the pulling duration is 30 minutes. And you can, you can go ahead and then you can change that setting to, um, uh, so like I can say that, okay, instead of 30 seconds, I can make it as a five second. So that it will try to, um, uh, send uh, pull this message within a five seconds and if that message is not available so what i can say i can click on the pull messages manually that is also possible and uh, again go back to the queue inside this queue so still you can see that okay um, uh, your messages are uh, uh, available only one after five minutes so you can see that uh, so your messages permanently moved to the dead so dead uh, sqs because uh, sqs was not able to uh, process and then um, at the same time your lambda function 
was not able to pull uh, the messages from the voting system. Yeah, so uh, this is how we can create a SQS and we can create a Lambda function and we can integrate both. And uh, so as soon as you uh, put in messages under the queue, your Lambda function will pull the messages uh, from the your queue. I hope uh, uh, you get a chance to work on the SQS and the Lambda function and the integration. And uh, so uh, we come to end up the lab and uh, thanks for watching this video.